What's going on everyone? My name is Kieran Price, aka Kira the Barber. I've been barbering for about 15 years now. I'm an international educator for Anders Clipper Company. I travel around the world and educate and I do a lot of hair shows. Um, I've got nearly 200,000 um, followers over the whole of the social media and I'm here today to chat to you all. So I would say the very first thing about social media and Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, uh, YouTube and everything like that, I would say my first rule is be humble, be nice, be respectful, um, do, not, do not be rude, do not think you're better than anyone else. Um, I would say my tip number one is, is respect and be humble because if people are going to know, people aren't going to follow you if, if you're rude and you're arrogant. So yeah, my, my tip number one is be humble. Tip number two, I would say post at relevant times. There are certain times that I post, and I only post really once a day, once every other day. You can't spam the market. I would say, personally, I think one or one, one post a day, one post every other day, um, do not post four or five times a day because you'll, you'll fill up someone's um, page or you'll fill up someone's YouTube and they will just get bored of you. Give give them something, yeah, give them, give them something to look forward to, give them something to wait for. Make them want more instead of giving everything all at once, you know. Tip number three is consistency when you seem to drop off with whatever you're doing whether it be making for me personally it's making haircut videos um i live a really busy schedule in my life where i find it hard sometimes to juggle youtube filming a video editing a video um, i've got a wife and, and two kids so and i've got a shop to run plus i've got employees and on top of that clients so i find everything's quite hard to juggle but take five or ten minutes at least if you're building up an Instagram to um, just take a, take a photo of the haircut and stuff like that and then post it once a day. Consistency is a massive thing and I've learned if you're not consistent enough your followers will drop um, and you, you will drop your, yourself wherever it be YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. If you're not consistent enough people will just get bored and they will unfollow. Tip number four um, for social media on Instagram and YouTube, I would say definitely invest um, in products, um, in time, in the sense of get get a de decent camera, save up. Um, I would say get a decent microphone, have a decent like mobile phone because when you haven't got your camera on you, because you can't always have your camera on you, um, you'll have a good mobile for taking photos and stuff like that. Trust me, with investment it does pay off because. We at Warnish Barbershop, we have four different cameras in our shop. We've all got a decent, decent phone, so we can go on Instagram Live when we want. We can go on, on YouTube Live. We can market ourselves. Investment, <laughs> investment is key in a sense of, um, in, as I say, invest in, invest in your time, invest in your products, invest in um, your purchases. I'd say good camera, good microphone, for YouTube, definitely, I'd say get a Rode mic for a start. They're, they're absolutely amazing. Um, I use a Canon 700D when I'm taking photo shots with 50mm lens. Um, for me personally, when I'm taking my haircut photos, that's the um, that's the best lens I like to use. Um, I would say, I'd say invest in, invest in a good phone because you can then go on Instagram Live, you can talk to the people who want to listen, who want to ask you questions. Um, I personally do Instagram Live quite a lot because I get a lot of time to while I'm cutting hair, I can go on Instagram Live and people can either ask me about the haircut, ask me how I got started, what products I use, what clippers I use, and you can um, invest your time with the people who follow you whilst also doing your job. So let's say for instance you're, let's say for instance you're a photographer or you're out on a shoot or something like that, you can quickly go on live, Instagram live for 10 minutes, say you're at this, this location, say you're at this shoot, say you're really impressed, people ask where you are, people ask what you're doing, you know, it rolls off the tongue and that gives you them more followers.
Tip number five I would say would be hashtags and um, tagging where your location is, tagging people who you want to see your post. You're allowed 30 hashtags per Instagram post, so I I usually hashtag barber and barbers, haircut, fade, um, where barbers can all see me from all over the world, and then from there I tag my location. So if clients, they can just click on the location, see where the barber shop is, so then they know where they are. They can come in, they can book in, they can get a haircut. Um, tag the people that you want to see the hair, like you want to see, look at your picture. For instance, I do a lot of like portfolio work and headshots, so I tag a lot of magazines like Barber Connect, Modern Barber Magazine, Barber Envy, HJ. So with your work, if you even if you're doing like food or you're doing um, just beautiful locations, tag the people who you want to see it. Tag where you are, tag what you're doing, tag what camera you're using because um, people will search that and people will find you because there are so many people with interest that you have so then from there you'll, you'll gather this group of people I mean who would have thought I'm a barber from Ellsbury and I have a hundred thousand followers now and they're consistent followers because it's been built up over the course of, uh, of about four years um, and from there it's, it's made me travel the world and it's made me um, educate in places that I never ever thought I'd educate. I, I educate now also for Paul Mitchell and Paul Mitchell when I was 15 years old I started in the salon and I used to use their products and I absolutely love them and now I'm one of their educators so you know it goes a lot, I'm, I'm 31 now so that was 15, 16 years ago. It takes a long time but once you build it up you'll absolutely love it. Tip six, I would say, get to know your circle. In a sense of, get to know people who do the same thing as you in the same industry, become friends with them. People who, um, for me, I have a lot of barber and friends all over the world, and I've helped them get work, and they've helped me get work. In a sense of, um, I now work for Andis, and I know a lot of educators around the world. And when I'm traveling to their country, or I'm traveling to America, or I'm traveling to Russia, or Australia, I'll, I'll message them and go, hey, do you fancy collaborating, do you fancy doing a class together? We set up a class, you know, we set up a class of about 100, 200 people and it works just like that. Just by messaging someone and asking them if they can do it, you know, that's all it takes. So get to know people in the industry, Get don't just be by yourself, become friends and, and get friendly with people because it really does help out, you know, and it shows it shows people that you respect the industry and you want to get to know it better. The best way that I found when I'm getting to know someone or I appreciate someone in my industry is I like their posts, I comment on their pictures, I will then potentially direct message them, uh, give them appraisal, just just to just break the ice and just say, hey, I'm Kieran, um, I really like your work, I appreciate you. And that's all you need, just, just be honest, you know, if you like someone or you like the way they do something, tell them, it ain't never going to offend them. I get a lot of messages day in, day out and they tell me, hi Kieran, we, we really love your work. I always try to reply to every single one of them because still after five years and 100,000 followers, I still get a lot of that in it and it just still absolutely blows my mind. So tip seven for me, um, and this works especially in my industry, is don't Photoshop your haircuts. I get so many people and I look and I, I zoom in and it's so Photoshopped, it's blurred out. And don't get me wrong, from afar it looks like one of the best haircuts you've ever seen. But up front you can see. Now I'd hate to, for me personally, see a barber, absolutely love his work, want my haircut by him, go in, get a haircut, and actually the haircut isn't great at all. And I'm like, well, how come his haircut work looks so good on Instagram, but actually in person, he's not a very good barber? That's because, obviously, he uses Photoshop. Now, I would say, just be honest with your pictures, get good lighting, get a good camera, work hard. I say, I would rather see someone be an average barber and become really, really good than see an average barber constantly photoshop their work and they never need to be good because they're just photoshopping their work. So my, my tip seven massively is just don't edit your pic, don't over edit them. Yeah, turn the brightness up. Yes, turn the sharpness up. I'm all for that. But when you're starting to blur out haircuts, that's when it becomes an issue.
So tip eight, respect the industry. Whatever industry you're in, show respect. Never ever think you're better than anyone else. Um, and in my industry personally, is a never ending puzzle. I've been doing this 16, 17 years now, a long time. Um, and I'm still learning, I'm still filling in them pieces. I think if you ever get to a stage in your career with whatever you're doing, whether it, you're, you're a car mechanic, you're, you're a barber, you're, you're a photographer, you're a, a builder, when you get to a point where you go, I know everything about this job, you just need to go home because you've got bored of it, you've lost the love of it. I would definitely say respect your industry and never ever ever think that you can't stop learning because there's always always something new to learn. Tip 9 with build, like building your Instagram, um, me personally this is how I did it. I posted at 7 o'clock every night, I went with my camera and I took pictures of haircuts, I would take maybe four, five, six pictures of different people in my chair every day. Maybe only one or two would ever get used. So I would say timing is a massive thing with, with Instagram. Um, hashtagging again, so to build one post, you're gonna need to get a good picture, make sure the timing's right. You want everybody to be finished work, eating their dinner, sitting on their phones. That's what you want people to see. So that's why about seven, half seven is a perfect time to, to post a, an image. Make sure the lighting is good, make sure the photo is really clear. I say turn that sharpness up, turn the brightness up, make sure it's nice, bright, people can see it. The, the comment section, write a bit about it. For me, um, when I do haircut photos, I write what the haircut is, what I've done, how I've done it, what you've done, whether it be that you're, I say if you're a photographer, Tell them what location you're in, tell them what you're doing, whether you be a mechanic, tell them what car it is, tell them what engine size it is, whether you're a builder, tell them how many bricks you put in that building, you know, and then hashtag with your industry. I mean, you can go on faith, you can go on Google, sorry, and you can search up hashtags for your own industry or your own brand, um, a t shirt company. Uh, I say, like, there's so many different things on Google. You just search up this plus the hashtag, and it'll give you thousands of hashtags that you can use yourself. Find the ones that you like, and then put them on there. Then after that, tagging people in them. So I usually, in the comment section, I'll at who I want to add in it, and then I will specifically tag certain people in that post. And what makes Instagram, the for me, the best social media tool, you can then click it on Facebook, click it on Tumblr, click it on Twitter. So you can click all these pictures all in one go without even having to go on Facebook, go on Twitter, go on Tumblr. You can literally just put them straight all on there from your Instagram. It makes it so much easier. Um, and then I was going to say, if, if you're not getting likes yourself or you're not, you're finding you're, you're taking it slow, start liking other people's work, start commenting on other people's work, that's what I do. I, I comment on a lot of people's work because it just shows that you're appreciated and you're appreciating someone, therefore they can appreciate you back. Tip 10 for Instagram and social media is be yourself, don't ever change. Don't change for no one. People can see fakeness a mile off. And there's a lot of people, especially um, who I see or I follow, are massively fake. Um, and you don't want to be like that. So just be yourself. Don't ever change. Um, and don't get lost in the social media. As I say, if you do have a family or you do have friends, still go out and socialize. Still make time for your family. Because at the end of the day, Instagram is a tool and it is a building tool. It's a great marketing tool but don't slip in and out of what's real and what's not. And just remember to just always be humble, always be yourself and don't be a dick. And that's, that, that's my top 10 tips.